Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Frank here with another DIY. Today we are working on this 2011 VW Polo. It has the 1.2 uh, liter uh, turbo FSI. Uh, the engine code is CBZ A. Yeah, it's CBZ A. So uh, this car has been mixing fuel with gasoline. Uh, when it warms up, uh, when you shut it off, it takes very long to start. You have to wait like 30 minutes and then you can try again uh, to start it up. Uh, so I connected to the vacuum. Right now it has 1163 kilometers. So this is the outcome of the report. It's throwing errors to the O2 sensors you can see right there sensor one bank, bank one sensor two uh, malfunction bank one sensor one but the most interesting one that we are having is this one uh, fuel trim bank one system two reach um, and you can see right here P0172 which is the error codes that we have when we have fuel related problems. Sometimes it could be uh, an injector um, leak or a bad high pressure fuel pump or the lower fuel pressure pump. So I will explain what I did in order to diagnose and actually find the culprit. So what I did was using VCDS, I came into engine and then advanced major values you will want to look for high um, high pressure actual value so usually those cars when they are um, idling uh, they should you should see around 45,000 45, HPA which is around 4 bar 4.7 bar which is the pressure at idle and then you will want to start the car and shut it off and just right after you turn on the key to see if this actual value will decrease or not if this value decreases it will means that you have a leaking injector which wasn't my case because when I switch it off and then turn it off again I would see my actual value increasing meaning that at least from the injector sites, I didn't have any leaking injector. And um, um, that meant that I didn't have any problem with the injectors. So after that, since the car was mi mixing oil with fuel, I ended up changing the oil, uh, drove it for a while in order to understand its behavior and ended up seeing that the car was still mixing oil. I will show you my oil level in the dipstick. So right now we are here at the engine bay. So this is the high pressure fuel pump. It stays connected just right here. As you may be seeing, I've just removed from the place. I've just connected the hoses as it was connected uh, normally. So if I pull out my dipstick, as I was mentioning, you can clearly see how raised my oil level is. I think it's possible to see that it's quite higher than the normal amount just right there you see just right there and of course you can smell it but right now it is smelling gasoline and I'm smelling for you guys <laughs> so what I did was to actually remove the high pressure fuel pump connect back the hoses and right away when i removed i just saw right here on the back that is a little bit wet and here if i if i sneeze a little bit is very stinky for fu for fuel so uh when um i actually turn on the key let me turn on for you guys 
the lower fuel pump starts working and if I sometimes it does uh, focus yeah. oh you can see how leaky it is right now so it starts leaking from the piston right there so I was just playing with it a bit and it was leaking leaking badly so actually ended up founding why we have fuel going into the engine so if you have problems with one of those CBZ engines and it's throwing P0720 that could be one of the issues I hope you enjoyed the video see you next time